the product of their individual marginal distributions, right. That is what we observed. And that what does that mean? That means that the second node which happens here is also an MM1 q which is independent of the first one, right. So, this dot can becomes m that is how it becomes, okay. That is what if it happens that way then that would result in this way. So, it is behaving as if that. Now, whether that is true, right, this can be proved if we can characterize the output process from the first node, right. If it turns out the output process, if you can characterize, then this result is actually can be proved that this is true. It is not just a mere observation with respect to this particular system that you are talking about, but it is in general it has to be true and why it is true is what you have to look at it. And Berg's theorem is what helps us to do this. This Berg's did this work in 1956 that he gave this result for an output process of an MMCQ and that is what we are going to see next in this lecture, okay. So, what is the Berg's theorem which is characterizes the output process of an MMC system is what is the following. In an MMC queuing system in steady state, the inter departure times are IID exponential with parameter lambda. In other words, what it says is that the output process is also a Poisson process with the same parameter as the input process that is what it, it claims. Okay. So, let us see how this can be shown to be true because the whole queuing network in at least in our analysis of networks that whatever we have been considering like this output process plays a critical. So far we did not bother too much on the output process, but here it is very critical. So, it needs to be understood that how this is true. Okay. So, let us see how it can be proved. Suppose if you call n of t be the number in the system at time t and t1 dash, t2 dash, tn dash, tn plus 1 dash denote the successive departure instance. So, that if you define capital L to be tn plus 1 dash minus tn dash then this is the inter departure interval. Okay. Now, you define a function capital F suffix k of t to be the probability of this quantity. What is this? So, this is the joint probability that there are k in the system at time t after the last departure, right. The last departure happened at t and dash. Now, at time t has elapsed between the last departure and now and you are seeing the system state. So, that is basically k and this t is uh, less than the inter departure time, right. So, inter departure time is more than, so this, this is what you know a typical L would be, right. So, L is greater than t, right. So, this t is less than the inter departure or L is greater than t is what. So, then this is what is this probability f k of t. Now, once we define this, then the CDF of L, right, because this is gives you L greater than t and n of something at equal to k. So, now if I want CDF of L which is probability